In recent times, high-ranking officials and delegates from Kenya's Data Protection Commissioner made a discreet journey to the European Union, their purpose shrouded in secrecy. Behind closed doors, they engaged in clandestine meetings, discussing what could be the most significant leap forward in Kenya's data landscape. But what exactly is at stake in this mysterious negotiation? What crucial decisions are being weighed in the balance? As the nation holds its breath, the suspense builds, and the questions linger like whispers in the wind. What lies ahead for Kenya's data deal with Europe? Will it be a game changer? Let's delve into the recent developments. About a month ago, the Data Protection Commissioner and her delegation visited the European Union. Their crucial meeting with the European Commission centered around the possibility of a mutual adequacy decision between Kenya and the EU. Can Kenya's Data Protection Act give them a competitive edge, ensuring data is safeguarded and freely flows to service the EU market without additional compliance expenses? The EU's recent grant of an adequacy decision for the EU-US data privacy framework marks a significant milestone. Many countries, including the United States, Andorra, Argentina, and others, now enjoy comparable data protection levels with the GDPR. Could Kenya soon join this prestigious group, paving the way for seamless data transfers with Europe? How does the EU determine adequacy? Factors such as laws, human rights, data protection regulations, and the presence of a data protection authority are considered. Kenya has been diligently working to align its laws with EU standards, demonstrating its commitment to safeguarding personal data. Will these efforts pay off, enabling Kenyan businesses to thrive with uninterrupted data transfers to Europe? The journey leading to the EU-US data privacy framework has been eventful. Austrian privacy lawyer Maximilian Schrems played a pivotal role in challenging legislation governing foreign data transfers. His campaign against Facebook highlighted the potential exposure of personal data to U.S. intelligence agencies. With the new framework in place, companies can now enjoy stability and security in transatlantic data transfers. Is Kenya ready to see similar opportunities? Despite the potential benefits, challenges lie ahead. Small and medium-sized businesses and tech giants can enjoy a stable and secure system for data transfers, fostering growth and innovation. However, critics, led by Schrems, question the framework's efficacy, raising concerns of future legal challenges. How will Kenya navigate through these challenges in its pursuit of the data deal with Europe? Will Kenya's dedication to safeguarding data privacy and security pay off? An adequacy decision could position Kenya as a data hub in Africa, attracting foreign investments and tech-driven enterprises. As Europe seeks reliable partners beyond its borders, Kenya emerges as a potential frontrunner, eager to embrace this new era of data-driven collaboration. In conclusion, the future of Kenya's data deal with Europe remains uncertain yet promising. The journey towards achieving adequacy status reflects Kenya's commitment to privacy and security. As we eagerly await the outcome, let us envision a future where Kenya stands proudly among nations recognized by the EU for their robust data protection practices. Together, let us embrace the opportunities this data deal can bring for Kenya's businesses and the entire African tech ecosystem. Will Kenya's deal with Europe be a game-changer? Only time will tell.